All right, this is fun. The fourth annual Junior Roller Derby Tournament is wheeling into Burbank today. Oh, nice. And it's teaming up with Cedar Sinai. KTLA's Aaron Myers is now live in Burbank with more. Hi, Aaron. Hi, you guys. Good morning. Now, the tournament is called Bloodfest the Bloodening, not because they're going to get bloody, but because they do have this blood drive going on. And you can see the first bout is happening here behind me. We are on the roller derby track. I have to say, this is the first time I've ever seen roller derby in person, so this is really exciting. I want to bring in Bridget Bridgeburner Mullins and Coach Rabies, Coach Rachel. Now, first of all, Bridget, tell me, how did you get involved in roller derby? You said you're pretty new to this. It's only been a few years. Yeah, it's actually kind of a funny story. My mom was on Groupon, and she found um, a coupon for Los Anarchists, like a class to learn how to play roller derby. And she immediately thought of my best friend, Party Poison, because she thought that this would be perfect for her. And she brought it up to me and asked if I wanted to join too. And I was like, sure. And then I found out on the way there that it was a sport. And I got a little freaked out because I don't like sports <laughs> a whole bunch. But I did it and I immediately fell in love. And now tell me, how do you get your name Bridge Burner? How come everyone on the team has these cool names too? I want one. Uh, the fun names are honestly just one of my favorite parts about roller derby. I don't really know how they came to be, but I chose my name because my real name is Bridget and I like the um, I like the rhyme of bridge burner, like the BB and um, the idea of fire and all in the name. I thought it sounded pretty cool. I like, it is very cool. Now, Coach Ravies, tell me a little bit about the sport itself. How does about work? Yeah, so about is basically two halves of 30 minutes. You have two teams and you have some a person wearing a star, which you can't see right now. And they basically score points by trying to get around the hips of the other players. And now I know that these bouts, they are not short. You need a lot of stamina. Tell me a little bit about the athleticism that goes into roller derby. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot more than I think what people would expect off the bat because they think it's like, oh, it's fun. You're rolling around. But a jam is about two minutes, which is basically what a bout is made of. And you basically have to be ready to fight for two minutes straight, whether you're holding your calf, uh, your quad muscles for that long, whether you're cardio and you're basically running the whole time on your skates, you're pushing through people. There's a lot of fitness involved, no matter if you're brand new or if you've been playing for 12 years, you have a lot of fitness requirements. I love it. And then Bridget, tell me a little bit, Bridge Burner. You were saying that when people hear you do this, they're like, whoa, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah. I often, it's my one fun fact about me. And because it's kind of a niche sport like not a lot of people even know it exists whenever I bring it up people always are like whoa that's insane you play roller derby because it's a cool sport I'd like to think okay I'm gonna ask you guys on the fly my name's Aaron what would be my roller derby name I know they're both like oh man what are we gonna do here um, let's see I think I have one for me but let's go uh, what would you say I'd say Roar and Aaron, maybe. Oh, I like that. Okay, Roll and Aaron. I was going to go with like Electric Aaron, but okay, so Roar and Aaron or Electric Aaron. I like it. And then you're still competing as well. Yeah, yeah, I still compete. I play uh, with Denver Roller Derby at the moment. Um, kind of phasing out because I moved back to Los Angeles, but yeah, still competing and currently also playing with Los Angeles Derby Dolls. Yeah. What, what's the draw? What do you guys love about it so much? God, I honestly, I really love the community and the adrenaline of it. Whenever I'm, like before a game, I always get really anxious and I'm nervous, but as soon as I'm on the track, I'm immediately in game mode and ready to go. And I love like the hard stops and the racing around the track. And I've also, I've made such great friends from this sport, people that I'm really glad to have met and have made my life infinitely better. I love it. We'll put the details up on the screen real quick. If you guys want to come check it out, they are competing today and tomorrow. So it's a lot of excitement. And I also want to let you know, they do have beginner and intermediate roller derby lessons on Sundays. And they also have a summer camp going on as well here. So if you're interested in learning about roller derby, uh, you can come check it out. And guys, what do you think? My name, Roaring Aaron or Electric Aaron for my roller derby name? I'm going to let you guys pick on that, okay? I'm going to go with let me know. Magnificent oh. Myers. Oh. <gasps> oh, I like that. I, I like, like that I'm, one. Magnificent Myers. Yeah, I'm, I like Electric Aaron. I think that has the right vibe. Okay. I do have a question, Aaron, if, if you still have the gals yes. with you. So as a recent, I do. as a new skater, uh, I notice it's sort okay. of hard to stop. Once you get going fast, it's kind of a multi pronged okay. effort for me. What is their <laughs> trick or their lesson for stopping well? On stopping? You okay, stopping. ladies, mm -hmm. how do you stop when you're skating? A good stopping tip. Our anchor, Lauren, she's just taking up skating and stopping is difficult for her. So what would you say? 
Got it. I would say get low and put as much weight on like all of your wheels at once and press them into the ground. Oh. Got that, Lauren? Get low, all the weight, and press into the ground. You taking in? You hear okay. that one? Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm okay. like waiting. Do you want I'm waiting for a visual, but I know we have to go. Oh, so a maybe... visual. Yes. <laughs> the visual's out there. Oh, you can okay. see that he's okay. stopping very got well. Got it, got it. We have to go anyway, but you know what? Next hour, I'll be sure to look You know that big rubber pad on the front of the skate? <laughs> Doug, okay, I'm not that. <laughs>